like a bondage it creates not like a bondage it's just a good experience guys so definitely check out the gobi tent if you have nothing else to do the next stage is the mojave tent and the mojave it has had a lot of great artists over the years and the mojave tent is also for those mid-level artists or some artists that have some major hits in the summer so last year amine performed there we've had gautier when they had that summer in 2012 with somebody i used to love gautier performed there <laughs> We've had Flostradamus and Two Chains, Run the Jewels, Infect the Mushrooms, just so, all kinds of level of artists that perform at the Mojave Tent. So definitely look, maybe Shaq West this year. He's going, he has that one hit, Mo Bamba. So that Mojave Tent's definitely something to look at. I will have the entire set list. I will do a set list breakdown once we actually get the list in April. But for right now, I'm just gonna explain Next up on the list, we have the Arctic Dome. Now the Arctic Dome is not technically a stage. You're not gonna watch any live performances there, but it's an amazing experience. The Arctic Dome, 360, it's a dome. So you're inside 360 LCD screen powered by HP. And you sit down for eight minutes in a bean bag or like this little comfortable recliner with a bunch of people. And it's just nothing but visuals. And it's just some of the most mesmerizing visuals you will ever find. You don't have to be on psychedelics. You don't have to be on drunk or on drugs, whatever. You're gonna have a great time watching this visual, just masterpiece in front of your eyes it has air conditioning it's a good time to take a break from the heat rest a little bit next up we have one of my favorite spots at Coachella and that is the do lab now the do lab is an outdoor DJ stage they have nothing but water hoses for watering people all day long there's incredible DJs with the potential to have some surprise guests like Skrillex two-door cinema club or major laser have performed as surprise guests there and then even if nobody shows up you have DJ music dancing with a bunch of people just getting wet and it's a hundred degrees outside guys it's awesome to take a break here. Next up, we have the Heineken Dome. Oh, well, it's not a dome anymore. It used to be a dome, now it's the Heineken Tent. The Heineken Tent is like a club that's sponsored by the beer Heineken. And you go in there, there's actually a line to get in because it's kind of something that people want to experience. Again, air conditioning, it's an indoor club. So you're just having a good time in there. There's also DJs last year, I think Buster Rhyme showed up. I think DJ Snake has performed there. There's always a couple of big names and they always have a slot for a surprise guest, usually hip hop guest artists, or you never know where you're gonna find. They never announce it. So that's kind of like the mysterious thing about the Heineken condom and it's always fun the only thing is 21 and up only in there so you do have to get that wristband but if you're 21 you should definitely check out the Heineken dome. next on the list is one of the most famous Coachella stages one of the most famous Coachella tents and that's the Sahara tent now the Sahara tent back in the day five years ago it used to be DJs only it used to be EDM heavy and now Coachella decided you don't know I don't want people standing at the Sahara tent all day long so they're gonna spread out the D the DJs and stuff to the main stage to the outdoor to the Sahara to get more flow to get more people going in and out now the Sahara thing has had a lot of hip-hop acts over the years now. They had Post Malone, they've had Amigos, they've had Ray Schmer Ray Schrummer, G Easy, and then of course all the legendary DJ sets that have been performed. Avicii Rest in Peace, you've had Skrillex, we've had Calvin Harris, David Guetta, Afro Jack. The Sahara Tent's always something to look forward to because every year there's gonna be something great happening at the Sahara Tent. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite stage at Coachella. Have you been to Coachella before? What's your favorite stage? Next up is another one of the clubs, and the this is another club, it's called the Yuma. This Yuma is again indoors. It has a lot of disco lights, a lot of disco music. It's just a great vibe. There's people out there that just spend their entire day at the Yuma. They spend their entire day at the Do Lab, which is really cool about Coachella because 125,000 people, it doesn't mean we're all there to see Ariana Grande or Charles Gambino. We're there to have a good time at one of the 10 different locations that Coachella just has in store for us, and especially the Yuma, another club that you need to check out. If you just want to explore a festival, you should definitely explore the festival on Friday so you kind of get feel what the whole festival has in store and not just spend all your day at the Coachella stage or the outdoor you know what I'm saying number nine we have the outdoor stage and the outdoor theater the size of the outdoor theater now is actually the size of what the old Coachella stage used to look like so now the outdoor theater is its own different stage and it has a lot of room because they actually moved like before it used to be the Gobi the Mojave the Sahara the Gobi and the Mojave all in one row then you have the outdoor right next to it so now they kind of isolated all this some of the artists that have performed at the outdoor before we've had Pharrell Travis Scott Lana Del Rey 
Ray. We've had Miguel, ASAP Rocky, ASAP Fur, Floster Damas, The Weeknd, Empire of the Sun. I mean, so many major artists have performed. We are here at the outdoor, so always look for the outdoor to have some of the big, biggest artists coming out this year. But yeah, it's, this is the second biggest stage. It's right next to the main stage, the Coachella stage. So definitely check out the outdoor. And I, I'm, I'm trying to think who's gonna be at the outdoor this year. I'm thinking Blackpink, but I feel also feel like they might be at the Sahara tent or they might be at the main stage. I still don't know. But definitely let me know who you guys think is gonna be at the outdoor this year. Last year we had Miguel. Finally, we have the Coachella stage, the main stage, the grandest stage of them all, the big enchilada. Form all the headliners have performed here. We've had Kendrick Lamar, Kanye West, Madonna, Prince, Arcade Fire. We've had Guns N' Roses, ACDC. You get the point. All the major headliners are gonna be at the Coachella stage. Ariana Grande this year, Childish Gambino, Tame Impala. They're for sure gonna be at the main stage. If you've been to Coachella before, let me know in the comments which one's your favorite place to be at, which is your favorite stage, your favorite club, your favorite section of Coachella. So excluding the main stage, let me know in the comments which is your favorite Coachella stage, the Coachella spa, the Coachella club or whatever. Let me know in the comments, guys. Usually in April, they release a set list and I will do a set list breakdown. Entire festival breakdown because sometimes they change things around around the map. So many more Coachella videos coming in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. And again, thank you to the sponsor, Audible. Check out audibletrial.com slash warm72. It will help out our channel, guys. Thank you guys for watching. My name's Angel. And as always, see you at Coachella.